Jesus Christ. This is another day you have given to us that we should rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your word to us every day. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor, dominion, majesty, and power forever in Jesus' name. And as we go into your word to have a word shower today, let this word gladden our hearts. Let this word add value to our life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. Today is yet another day that the Lord has given unto us that we should rejoice and be glad in it. And the word for your shower today is become a blessing. This is the month of November. And we are preparing for our convention now. It's, uh, it's a time of uh, celebration where we gather widows and orphans together, share the word of God with them, give them the message of hope, and we also share with them gifts. We've been doing it for the past six, seven years. And today, God wants me to give you an opportunity to become a blessing to the less privileged. Becoming a blessing. That is the message for today. If you want to be blessed of God, you make somebody happy. You see, Mike Mudok said, he believed in the prayer of Boaz. So whatever I make happen to someone, God will make happen to me. Whatever I make happen to someone, God will make happen to me. I give somebody a blessing, God give me a blessing in return. And I have some scriptures that God wants me to share with you. The book of Acts chapter 20 verse 35. It says, In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the word the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed, blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And we are giving you that opportunity this month. After this, we are going to be sharing our account detail with you. Somebody sent us 25,000 Naira and instructed that we should give out wrappers to the widows in the ministry. We've been doing 350 to 400 wrappers before now, but this year I want to do 450 wrappers. And today we have these wrappers that the person bought for us. 10 pieces of this wrapper. 10 pieces of them. We need 450 of these wrappers to give to 450 50 widows and the less privileged. And these people have been on our network for the past six to seven years. Many of these widows will train their children, some from primary school to the secondary school. We have about four of them in the university now that we are still helping. And we have many in secondary school, that we are responsible for their school fees. Just in the month of September, we gave us scholarship to about 25 orphans, fatherless, and indigent students. And this is our main assignment as missionaries and as pastors. 
And that is the message God wants me to share with you today. Each of these wrappers cost 2,500 Naira. If you give us 25,000, you have clothed 10 widows. How will it be that on your account in heaven, you have been a blessing to 10 widows? You may not have done it before, but God is giving you this opportunity. It might just be 2,500 you have clothed one widow. I pray that you should join me. Send 2,500 Naira into the account. We've been doing this for the past seven years without calling on anybody. We only have few people that on their own send gifts to us, seed to us to do this. These people, we are going to camp them for three days, morning, afternoon, evening, sharing the word of God with them. And at the end of it, as they are departing on the fourth day in the morning, we give them this. Somebody else also gave us clothes, many of them, by an next shooting, we'll show you many of them from the United Kingdom. Plenty of this handbag that we're going to give to the less privilege. That's exactly what we do. We're giving you this privilege to be of a blessing. The Lord told me, it's not an assignment for you alone. I've been doing it at a time it was becoming, it was overwhelming me because most of my resources was going into it. Sometimes we buy like this on credit and we wait many months before we're able to pay back. But now God has put in my spirit that asking people to support me on this assignment is not out of place. 2,500 will clothe a widow for this Christmas, for this festive period. And most times in the community where we do ministry, each time I see them in the market, I see them on the road, wearing the wrappers that we gave them, it gladdens my heart. I see many of them. I have seen some also today that are in ministry. Many of those of widows are in ministry, running their own ministry. And I see them wearing the wrapper, ministering to others. Some have fellowship in their houses where they have some also widows. They camp, I mean, they bring together in group and they minister to them. So God wants you to be part of this. Let me give you another scripture. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. He said, Whoever is kind to the poor, lend to the Lord, and he shall reward them for what they have done. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Whoever is kind to the poor, lend to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Now, again, Romans chapter 12. From verse 12 to 14, it said, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, share with the Lord's people who are in need, practice hospitality, bless those who persecute you, bless don't curse, bless don't curse. And God said, I should tell you today, you must become a blessing. You must become a blessing. We are going to be sharing our account details. We have an account with EcoBank. We also have an account with UBA. One of them is on the church platform, Latter Glory Assembly. The other one is on Ref's Outreach Mission. Where, whichever is convenient for you, please drop a C there. Two five, a widow. 5,000 to widows. If you do 25,000, you have clothed 10 widows. And I'm believing God to start receiving your gifts. And as we encourage this widow, we're going to show you by December. We're going to make them pray for you. And I believe God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you. Make today a day to be of a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen.